Let me tell you about one of my clients. She's single. She is in her uh, mid to late 20s, lives near DC, so a high cost of living area. Uh, and when she came to me, she was extremely anxious about money. She had around $70,000 of student loans, didn't know how to pay them off. She didn't know what she was doing in life or or how she was going to get rid of this debt. And she knew she, she had to get rid of this debt. Uh, her budget was barely making ends meet. She didn't have uh, money in her account at the end of the month. She didn't know how she was going to be paying her rent. So we got started. Let me, let me skip to the end. Okay, about a month ago, I got this text from her and I text my clients either once a week or once a day, depending on what they need. I think I text her once a day. Uh, and uh, she said, you know, I, I asked, hey, what are you doing today to crush your financial goals? And, uh, and she responded, uh, paid off some of my student loan this morning and marked in my calendar an accountability date to pay off the principal of my lowest loan. Now that I have a budget in place and my needs and wants are fulfilled in that budget, it didn't hurt at all to withdraw the money from for the loan, feeling motivated to really get rid of this thing, her $70,000 of student loan debt. Let me tell you how we got there. When she came to me, she didn't have her physical needs met, right? She she didn't know where she was going to, if she was going to stay in her apartment. She didn't know what bills she could pay and not pay. So we worked on that first. Then we worked on on her feeling of security and where that came from and made sure that she knew her future at least a few months ahead of time. So she felt secure. She felt safe in her finances now. We also tackled her job security so we could figure out her next steps if she needed a bigger emergency fund or if she could pay off her debt soon. Then we really tackled a a little bit more of who she was and how she relates to money, why she was spending the way that she was spending. And it it had a lot to do with anxiety, lack of control, some different triggers in her life. Uh, And then I gave her some, some harder chores. And she felt accomplished. She felt motivated. She felt like she could do it. She accomplished her goals and had a much higher sense of self-esteem than when we started a few months before. Now we're focusing on what is her core desire? What is her core vision for her life? What is she moving toward? And, uh, and this is the text that I got this week from her. Uh, I asked again, what are you doing today to crush your financial goals? She responded, keeping within budget for the month as best as I can. This is the first time in months that I've had money still in my account before the next payday, which is this Thursday. Stress-free, went out for coffee this weekend, paid for a friend because I was extremely late. And that's because I checked my mint budget and had money left to do so. She stayed within her budget. Felt good. She's paying now at least $1,000 extra every month on the principal of her loans. And that came from just a few months ago when she didn't know how she was going to pay her day-to-day bills. That's that's what financial coaching does. One-on-one coaching, group coaching. I actually think group coaching is a better deal. If you don't have deep, deep uh, entanglement or, or messy emotions when it comes to finances, group coaching is a good place to start. If you'd just like to try it out, good group coaching is a good place to start. One-on-one financial coaching is for those who have uh, a deep, uh, toxic relationship with money. When you start thinking about your finances, you and, and when just hearing about this made your skin crawl, okay? When you start thinking about your finances and you feel overwhelmed, anxious, stressed out, that's what one-on-one financial coaching is for. If you just need to figure out uh, your budget, if you need to figure out and, and get some motivation, get some accountability, be encouraged, get some tips, start with group financial coaching. That's going to be your best bet. It's also more affordable. Now, we do work on some deeper issues in group financial coaching, but if that is the one thing that you need to work on, that's not the spot for you. We have a, we have a few people in that call, and you'll you need to bear your soul. So I hope to see you soon. I hope you don't have any issues with money. I'm excited for this one client. She is, she's starting to soar. And I hope you get there too. Talk to you soon.